Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Maypole Farm. We are today on, well, Maypole. Uh, we have no animals as of yet. We need to get some corn together so that we can make silage. Um, we also have a bunch of straw to collect. Unfortunately, we're just not making any income on this farm yet. I'm hoping that the animals will rectify that. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm going out the wrong exit here. We need to find the right place here. Here we go. We're going to run down to the shop. There's my my trailer home over there. <laughs> Someday I hope I hope to find a European car that we can get like a Su a Subaru or <laughs> So we're going to run over to the shop and see what we can find there. Most of the stuff that I have and need is sitting at the shop. Um, but we're going to sit in cab view here because the roads are so narrow, it's hard to see what the tractor is doing. So we're just going to stay in cab while we drive on the main road here. Did I bring... I think I have a weight attached to the front, right? Yeah, good. Okay. It'll make the tractor a little bit squirrely around the corners, but... The next thing that we need to do is collect. We're going to collect the straw off the fields. Um, I don't want to plant them yet. We're going to take a look and see what the status is. That cedar should plant. Uh, we have, let's see, the cow, the milk, the water trailer for the cows. I mean, we're pretty set. I think we pretty much have everything that we need. Um, we've got our mower. Once again, we're not going to use any of that stuff yet. Um, I don't know how, I guess we're going to have to rent a cedar to plant the corn, though. And we're going to have to rent, obviously, the harvester to harvest it. Uh, not to chaff it, I mean. We, we're going to have to get a chaff set up. Once again, I'm going to try to see what it's going to cost between getting a forage harvester or getting a big tractor that can carry the chop harvester. Theoretically, a uh, New Holland T6 should be able to pull it, but I think it's a little too large for that. So we're going to see what we can get for big little tractors. Um for our forage segment. I don't know what happened to my oats either. I thought I kept the tipper that had those in them, but I don't I don't see my tipper. I came back to the game and the tipper's not there, so I'm a little concerned about what happened to my tipper. In fact, let's see if we can see it in the garage. No, I still have it. That's the only one that I have. These fields really don't produce much. So once again, we may get a second smaller tipper, but we'll use the big one as a silo. So let's head on back. Man, I'm going to get straw. <laughs> I love you too, Babs. Moni just texted me and told me she loves me. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm going to come around the corner here. This is always a sharp, tight fit for the trailers. But we made it. Once again, this farm really is set up for the small to very small equipment. It's not really meant for larger. We could probably do with a slightly larger tractor um, at some point, but we'll get there. Hey, Seth, is Ryan coming home today? Yeah, I think he's able. Can you ask him to stop and get milk on the way home? He's got my... He's got my card. Oh, he did. Did he have attitude, or was he like, yeah? Of course he didn't. <laughs> so a little, a little secret about me, uh, and I won't share. Any, I don't know. Moni's saying no. I can't share the secret. Okay, I won't. <laughs> She's. That's okay, Moni. I don't care. I don't, I tell people I'm not, well, no, I don't really. <laughs> your mom can know. She's your mom. You know, I don't care. I won't. Okay. I'm told no. Don't repeat that. <laughs> it never happened.
Uh, so anyway, we are finishing up this <laughs> dodge. And uh, we've got a lot of... We're not going to get a ton of material out of these fields that we have, but we'll have enough to feed the horses and cows for a little bit. Oh, man. This is going to be a stretch. I think we need to start small, really. Like two, two horses and maybe like three or four cows. Uh, once we have the oats harvested, we can get the horses because we have straw. We don't have any hay, though. Uh, Fudge the holes. Not really. Science projects are wonderful. Mold grows in the neatest places. I had a cup today. Monia is cleaning out her kitchen. She's showing me through the video cam that she has a moldy thing of uh, pita bread. Um, I was uh, doing the dishes today and I found a, a cup yeah, yeah. that had some kind of strange thing, alien creature growing in it. And I took the cup and put it in the dishwasher and ran the washer. And I took the cup out of the washer and I caught a whiff of it from a distance. Like the cup was in my hand, but not near my face. And I was literally like, <laughs> and so that cup actually went into the uh, trash. Yeah, I just threw, because I go to I go to Dickie's Barbecue all the time, and I get the give. You get to keep the cups. They they're these pretty nice plastic. This is what happens when you have a family of, of five kids and yourself at home. You you don't buy cups because they just break them. So I get these Dickie's cups when I eat there at lunch. I've got probably like forty of them. They're big, like like thirty two ounce glass or sixty four ounce glasses, whatever thirty two probably, forty eight maybe, and uh, so I've got this huge like thing full of them. And anyway, so I just threw it out because I got a bunch of other ones. It's not like I'm I'm losing anything big. So we got seventeen thousand straw. That's not so bad. I'm not unhappy about that. So the horses will be able to move towards faster than the cows. I don't, I'm trying to see, I don't think I have any grass that I can mow right now. I want to make some, I want to, I want to make some hay. I almost wonder if we should buy a grass field. But I do want it to be near the farm. Like, I mean, 50, 50, 51 would work. Let's take a look here. How do we access 51? Is it accessible from... Nope, not from here. So we're going to jump the fence here. Let's see. There we go. Over the hedge. Does it access from here? Yes, it does. So this is actually, but this is going to be pricey. Oh, and it's got cotton, of course. That's way too big. We're not going to be able to afford I can guarantee you we're not going to be able to afford that field. But maybe 59. Let's take a look at 59 over here. Hopefully our field is it's accessible from our fields. Nope. Maybe this way? I think it is. Here's this field. Nope. Hmm. Over here, maybe? <laughs> 60. 66. Both are available. 65 is by where our homestead is. Um, so let's take a look at some of these fields and see. that These are all... Uh, this is one plot. So more than we can afford. I think we could take out a loan if we really needed to. I don't want to take a loan out, though. But what else we got here? This is 65 and 63 are a plot. Once again, just over. Okay, so that we can kind of see the plots. Uh, 59, 58, 55. <sighs> Those, that's a huge plot. This is going to be pricey. Uh... I think it's one of the, it's going to be these two or these two. This, oh boy, I think this one makes more sense because of accessibility. Oh, and we get that one too. So let's take a look at the bank. Yeah, we're probably tapped out on income, but yeah, we're all we're loaned out. So there, nope. So we can't do it. So we're just going to have to wait. Maybe fifty, fifty, and fifty-two will be grass, and then fifty-one and. 55 or whatever will be oats because we'll get if we get grass actually I think the bigger fields need to be anyway we'll figure it out 
Once again, if we only have a couple animals to start with, well, we're going to be broke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's not going to be any money. People were saying that, I guess people were, trying, were attempting to do the animal farm thing, and it, they're showing that the cows are really not profitable at all. But, and that's our only source of income if we're doing it this route, because all of the crop is going to the animals. Ay, ay, ay. So it's like a 10-day plan, because those first horses are going to bring in 100,000, and every, we're just going to keep adding horses. So really, oats. I was hoping for a small plot that we could buy that just had one thing, but I guess we're not going to get that. Uh, the good news is we're producing a lot of straw off this field. I'm thinking if we do just 53 oats, and then 51, 52, and 50 are going to be grass. I think that's what we had decided early on, and I think I'm going to continue with that plan. Um... I may even end up buying a bale wrapper and selling silage to the biogas plant because I don't know if you can sell or not unless you own the biogas plant, though, so we'll have to try it. If that makes it, if we can do that, we'll make some decent money with silage bales off of our grass. Uh, we could also do corn and do direct silage while we have an off season or off. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll make this pro we will make this farm profitable somehow or other. It'll it'll start making money. The cows do take a lot of silage though. That's the rough part. So we're gonna have to continue to make corn here and there. Or something to do. I guess if we wrap bales, we could do it that way too, though. But the corn's going to be the big way to start with. So did we get a bale wrapper? Let's take a look real quick here. Um, I don't remember because it's been so long. We got... Mm -hmm, mower. Do we buy it? We haven't bought a baler. Oh, go. Cool. No, because we're doing, since we're doing the other route, yeah, we didn't need a wrapper or a baler. But I'm rethinking that strategy. <laughs> I am reviewing the situation. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dump this off. We might, we might have made a mistake. <laughs> I still want to run the farm this way though, so I don't. It's, I don't consider it a, mis a bad mistake, but I think we might need to still get a baler. If we're gonna sell silage bales, I think we need to just do it. <laughs> do it. So I'm sure as heck not gonna make silage here and then cart it over and unload it by hand. I mean, that's that would take forever. So I got to think about this. We have no way to transport the round bales either. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. I don't know. Let's take a, let's see if this map even has people that take silage bales. It may not. Sometimes they don't. Let's see, switch one silage. That's 289 at the barn. Where's the barn? On the map. Uh, nope, I want to look here because it's not showing me the detail. Biogas plant, barn. Okay, the barn is mixed in with all of the other things. So we could sell silage bales at the barn. Well, let's just see what happens. I suppose we could rent that stuff too because it will pay for itself. Um, pretty quick. But with these tiny fields, we're not, still not even then. We're not going to get much off of them. <laughs> Oops. I suppose we could also just try to do a cash crop in between our feeding of the animals, like every other every other turn, do cash crop. So we've got money to work with right now, and we got to kind of play on that um, and use that to our advantage. Um, just kind of run it into the ground.
this otter be interesting. All right. Two more rows and we're all set. And our little tractor can barely pull this thing up the hill. <laughs> we are at uh, maximum overdrive on our equipment. Once again, though, the nice thing is we really don't, aside from the animals and crop, like planting stuff, we don't really need anything else for this farm. It's pretty well set up. Um, once again, we probably could use a slightly bigger tractor. But this one does okay. I still think we need to get an O tipper, but a small one would be good. Especially if we're going to do alternate crops. We'll have to see. To be honest with you, I don't think we're going to get more than just a, a, a hair of oats off these fields. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty positive about that. We might get one tipper full of oats. A small tipper. And that's it. We've collected all of our straw. There's still going to be some more to come when we harvest field number 53, but... As of right now, we have everything off the fields, so we can stop doing this. Wrong button. Look at my little tractor. It's so cute. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Seth? I forgot I had this game. What game is that? Ultimate Chicken Horse? I forgot I had it. Too. Ultimate Chicken Horse. I'm a lot of people playing online. Cool. Well, I suppose I could make some hay with the grass in this field back here. We could also cut these trees down and sell them. Maybe we'll do that. Hi, Moni. She's so cute. All right, so we've got our collection wagon home. Why don't we do some mowing? Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab... Actually, you know what? The day is coming to a close um, as far as our light is going, so we're going to go ahead and do some tree work. So let's see here. What can we... What can we rent? That would be fun. I think we're going to have to hand, because of the weird shapes of the trees, I think we're going to have to cut the trees down. Um, we're going to use this with our arms. We're going to use the log grapple to pick stuff up. And uh, I think we could probably use, there's a couple trailers that we can pick from. We'll take a look down at the store and see what we can get. So I'm going to drive down to the store. I'll be right back. All right, we are at the dealership. Going to grab our our thing. And we're going to we're going to rent. Actually, I'm probably just going to buy this. Nah, let's see. How much <sighs> front loader technology. Raw. Whoa, excuse me. Freaking log fork. Auto load. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's 800 bucks. We're just buying it. Simple enough. Okay, let's take a look at uh, forest forestry. We could grind them. <laughs> Those are. That's kind of cool. We've used this. It actually works. Okay. It's not great. Uh, but it's neat that we have it. Uh, we have. Uh, I thought I got something different for this. I thought there was a truck that I purchased. 
That was a forestry truck, but maybe it's under... Nope. I don't do a lot of forestry, so I don't buy a lot of or download a lot of forestry stuff. We could theoretically ch chip all this stuff. Do they have the little shredder anymore? Gosh, that's all they have. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, this one is self energized. You don't have to. We can make wood chips out of everything. That might be easier. Maybe. What do we got here? I got this. Wood container. Timber runner. I think you make less when you chip, but... This is 28000 to rent. This is the easiest thing. We'd have to rent this, but we'd also have to rent an IT runner, which is going to be expensive. What's that under trailers? IT runner 55,000. So I think to be honest with you, the best our best bet is just to chip wood chip this stuff. And besides, the wood chipper once again doesn't require any horsepower. So let's go ahead and lease that and we'll drag it back to the farm. Hopefully it'll connect up to my weight. But if not, we'll deal with it. So let's go let's go here. Wood chipper forestry equipment. going to lease this. I doubt we're going to make our money back, honestly. I don't think we're going to make our money back. But we're going to try. No, it does. Look. Okay, good. It's got a... Oh, Lord. I'm at full power right now. This thing might be a little large. It is self-powered, though, once again, so you don't... Oh, oh no. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Artie. Pull that, gents. Do, 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 do. This is going to be a pain to get into the farm. Chip it good. Oops, I'm on the wrong side. Into shape. So here's a way to generate maybe some, maybe some extra income on our farm. Not going to be a lot, I don't think, but we can make a couple thousand dollars probably, and, and we can clear up the field so that we then have grass available. Um, we're going to need to rent a, a stump grinder to grind the stumps down um, once we've cleared a path. Let's see if we can make this corner here. Oh, brother. All right. Uh... I think we're going to make it. We made it. Okay, so. Very nice of them to lease this to us. We have one more hard corner to make it around. That's the one over by the farm here. I suppose I, I want to park it close. I don't want to park it out in the middle. And I hate to cut our orchards down, but <laughs> it's my land. That's not our field. Here's our last big corner. We could keep the trees in and around our house. This is where we're going to have an issue. Come on. Come on, baby. The, oh, almost. And we made it. Okay, so it's a tight squeeze, but not a problem. Oops, except for I'm running into the fence. Ah, uh, Arthy. Okay, here we go. So we got this. Uh, those trees can stay. It's the ones over on this side that we're going to cut. Anywhere where we have like a grove light area where I can mow all this stuff over. See, that's a big, that's actually a pretty decent sized meadow there. We'll get probably three or four, well, one trailer load off. Um,. So let's see here. Uh, we can unfold this guy here. That's going to unfold. And what are the other commands for this? Um, turn on wood crusher, pipe out. Oh. Yep.
Oh, okay, we gotta get. I'm gonna pull this away. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the wood crusher on. Trying to. Oh, cool, you can actually adjust this. How do we start the engine? Fold wood crusher. Pipe in. Unload here. Start engine. Okay, it's running. Weird. It doesn't make any noise. Okay. So we're going to take this tractor out here. We're going to grab our... T where is our tipper? I have no idea where I left the tipper. <laughs> is it at the shop? Uh, I might have left it at the shop. So we're going to put this down here. Put those down here. Yep. And we're going to grab the tipper for our wood chips. Oops. All right. I'll be right back, folks. Oops. Great. This was not recording the whole time. I've hand-loaded some of the smaller branches into the the uh, chopper. Now we're going to grab a big one. I got a McCullough saw. We'll do some more sawing. You guys, there's plenty of trees to cut down. You guys will see some of this. But uh, I am about to grab... I cut a tree down. I'll have to get a stump grinder. Obviously. John, quit farting in my room. Dude, seriously. Ugh. Mater. Good lord. That is one bad stink. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this. Got the big trunk. Should be able to lift this with the tractor. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe it's too big. Nope, it goes the other way. That's that's it. That's all the way squeezed down. Okay, we got it. Wow, that's a big log. That's the main trunk of the tree. Hopefully we will not lose it. <laughs> oh, oh, nice driving. Nice driving. All right. I think this will be able to grind this up. It will be really bad if I put it on there and it doesn't, but... Oh, Mater. Kid's stinking up my whole room. There we go. Try to flip it around there. And we get some tree grindage right there. Chopping it up in bits. And leaving a big chunk. Perfect. Oh well. I think the trick, honestly, is to get straighter pieces in there, but... These trees are really kind of twisty anyway. I honestly probably could have carried this by hand, but whatever. Let's go ahead and shove this in there. Hopefully it'll suck that in. Come on, grind this up. Let's go. Get that in there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I didn't realize the thing would tip over that easy. Mm, this is not working the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so make sure to cut that part out. Come on, push it over. Up, 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 up. There we go. The gents is self-propelled. So we can actually move it around. Come on, put it down. There we go. That's never going to go in there. Okay. Let's get this thing back where it belongs. Oh, it doesn't turn, though. That's not good.
Okay, so this turned into a little bit of a mess. Uh, not exactly the way I wanted things to go, but we have ground some wood. Actually, we've done a lot. That tree has filled the tipper almost up all the halfway, at least. Um, so that's good. So what's going to have to happen here is that I'm going to have to turn this back in this way. And I'm going to dump my tipper over. That's great. This was all so nice and neat, and now... It's turned into a friggin' disaster. Oh, crap. Really? Come on. Are you serious? Could it get any worse? No, but I could make it worse. I'm going to push this this way. There we go. Nice and easy. Perfect. Stupid thing. gonna do is hop up here open up the chainsaw cut these pieces wait a minute uh. chop it into bits that didn't even work okay It's too big to pick up. Oh, for God's sake. This kind of stuff. This is... And it's it's the... Uh, it's because this stump is a weird... Oh, God. It's a weird-shaped stump. Mmm. controls there we go we'll take this crouch cut there we go it's on jammed ah! can I pick these up by hand oh John thank you for leaving my door open kid God what a lovely smell you've discovered, John. <sighs> okay. I can't wait to go back to the Now, you know what's going to happen here. We're stuck. We're going to have to chop this up. So, actually, I'm just going to do it now because it's... You know it's going to... Uh, Frig! If you touch the control pad just a little bit the wrong way, it doesn't bring it on. That's what's happening here. Wood cutting is not my favorite thing. It's a good thing that we have a ton of it to do. It's perfect. What? They cut it, okay. I might be able to get these by hand. Um, yep. So let's try that. There's one. There's two. And doing it by hand is always a little bit faster. And can we pick this? It's probably not. Nope. So we're going to have to get the truck. This is not the way it used to work. <laughs> I'm having to get used to the physics in 19. It's different. It doesn't, the lumber does not work the same way. And that's, it's kind of annoying because, yeah, oh, there it goes. It's going to fall out. So I can't close the claw on the piece of wood, but I can't pick the piece of wood up without dropping it either. Good job, Giants. Way to break another thing in the game that was working just fine for the last two versions. Are you almost done? Nope. Wait, you're not almost done? I'm almost done being frustrated. Wait, um, are you almost done streaming? Yeah, yeah, I'm not streaming right now. I'll be streaming. I'm starting streaming at 7. So you, what, then why are you on here? Because I'm recording. Difference. I almost there's done streaming recording? and there's recording. Nope. Yeah, I'm almost done recording. Honey. So let's go ahead and shove that thing through. And I'll be working on this for a while, obviously. Um, I'll be on this for two hours. There we go. 
Let's take a look and see how much um, wood chips we've gotten so far from our tree. Man, quite a bit. That was one tree, and we filled the tipper up. Um, let's see, right? Oh no, I dropped the weight. That's good. I want to fill. I want to pick the tip. I guess I can't. There we go. Doing, but we can see here we've gotten fifteen thousand liters. Of wood chips and that is no slouching matter that's a good it's a good amount of wood chips so uh, we're gonna get a lot of wood chips from this forest and that's good because we'll actually make some decent money uh, doing that I bet you we'll make you know 20 or 30 thousand dollars the equipment will pay for itself so let's go ahead and, and uh, I'll chop down one more tree and then we'll call it an episode um, give you a little bit of a longer one here I apologize it takes longer to I have to find the right amount of the right time to uh, film Maypole, so I I'm sorry it takes longer to get between episodes, but it's just how it is, guys. It's it, it, this is this requires me to take a lot more time as I'm doing it, so I'll probably work on chopping down this forest off camera. Um, but uh, for right now, we're here doing this, and well, if I don't get it all done, we'll move to other parts of the farm um, as uh, time time allows. And uh, then we'll come back here to this, but we'll we'll because like, you know obviously the crops are gonna be ready and stuff, and I'll we'll, this will be a goal to get this cleared. But the sooner we get it cleared, the better, because then we can get our horses and start making that income on the farm. Right now we have really no income, but the wood chips will also bring income in, which is good because we have like I said no source of income, so this will make it so that we have somewhat of a profit for a bit on the farm. And really, honestly, how much lumber do you want to do, right? So. Cleaning these toothpicks off. Cut that down just like that. Good. Clear these branches off. This works so different than it used to, and it's just it's a little bit irritating. It's not great. <laughs> Let's see. So we broke, or cha they cha I guess it's not that they broke it, but they changed it in a way that it's like it doesn't. If you're used to what they used to do, it's just it's not. It's annoying, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Almost done here. I have one. No. Let's see. We're gonna pick. So some of these things we should be able to pick up by hand. Like this. I'm going to throw that in there. And we'll have to hop up there with it because it's being stubborn. And it needs to go closer in. There we go. And once it's there, it'll suck it through. Suck. And then this one. Is that too big to pick up? Yep, so we're going to cut that in half. It's, it's a lot easier to do it by hand than it is with the tractor. So if we can get as many small pieces as we can without the tractor, then when we have to use the tractor, we'll just be using it on the bigger pieces. Um, like you saw, though, the tree trunk was really a little too big. Will that suck it through? Yep. There we go. We've chipped that. Let's see how our tipper's doing. We should actually pull this forward and see how we're doing. This is going to be getting close to pretty dang full. 16,000. So there's still, we still got about 7,000 liters to go in there. So we may have to still use the tractor, but we're going to keep that measuring on there for a little bit. Can I pick this up by my hand? Nope. So we need to cut this. One more cut. Try to get that as light as possible. Should be able to pick that up. Nope, so we'll have to use the tractor to grab that. This we can pick up, which is funny because it's really almost the same size, but we just set it on there. Let's go chop it up. Grab this. Did you lift that up? Could you lift this up? I could lift it up too. I just did. Grinding that up. Dad, why don't you actually pick the cow up? Ew. Put it on that, that'll make red stuff. 
Uh, Chopped up cow? Yeah, that's what hamburger is, kid. Just gonna grab that. Oh, there it goes. Yay! Alright. Can I pick this up? There she is. Oh. All right, so we're gonna chop this piece right here. Tell Soupy nothing. Hi, Goosey. In a couple of minutes, we'll talk about it. Let me get finished with my episode here, Ev. Or bye. And that's crumbling. That would be so easy to pick up. This little log, yeah, some of these would be heavy. Logs are heavy, especially the thicker ones. They do get pretty heavy pretty fast. What if you put a cow on those? Why don't you put a cow on the log? What if no, what if you put a cow on those? Then you'd have a cow log. Could you please stop grabbing the mic? No, if you put a cow on that grinder thing. Well, what do you think would happen? It'd go and shredded and yeah. butter would go out Shredded of beef, that's correct, John. Wait, can you say that? I want to see what it looks like when it goes away. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. This one's not feeding through as easily. I'm gonna give it a little coaxing, coaxing there. Uh oh! Oh, I thought it was gonna crash. Wow. So it grinds it up and it goes into my tipper. See how we're doing? The tipper is 18,000. And so we're gonna cut this piece. Oh, that's why I couldn't pick it up. Why can't I whip my chainsaw out? What the heck? Where did my chainsaw go? This game. I think the game crashed. So we're going to save at that point. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Annoying Farm Simulator 19 as we do the annoying logging that doesn't work at all. Uh, <laughs> it actually is it's working. It's just sometimes it does weird stuff like that where you just, I don't know what it's doing or why I can't do this, but it's being stupid. I'm going to sell this tipper load off before I load any more wood on. That These little pieces are going to pick up and go on there. But this big trunk piece, I'm going to, like this piece, I might pick up. But that trunk and all the, these pieces, I'm going to save. Because what happens is I don't want to lose those wood chips. I think it'll grind them up and then they'll disappear if I don't have an empty tipper. So I'll probably just go sell this. But actually, let's go do that for the end of the episode. Let's go ahead and, if the game's still working. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go see where we go to take these lumber pieces. Probably just the, turn that fan off, John. Probably just the regular old, is there a lumber mill? Oh, there is a sawmill, yes. Wood chips go to the sawmill, and they're actually a pretty decent price. I mean, so let's go ahead down there. I don't, I've never been there before. Moni Moo's coming in a week, that's right. Hi, Violet. That means I'll get my pajamas in a week. You'll get your pajamas in a week? Oh, I went the wrong way. You mean pajamas? It's it's puschetti. Puschetti, right? You say it puschetti. Puschetti. Spaghetti. Paschetti, ravioli, and ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Ow. 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 Don't hit my head. That hurts. Who's a friend with you? I'm not your friend. I wasn't making fun of you. Why can't you have a bat? A what? What? Oh, wait, let's see. Um, yeah, it's to the left. Okay. Crazy tractor driver. Never been to the sawmill before. It looks like it's in the same place that everything else is. So it's not anywhere. Eh, it's right up there. Massey Foiglison.
Should be on the left. Where do, how do we get in there? It's down in there, but... Did I drive past the entrance again? Yep, I did. Shoot. It's so secluded, like it doesn't... Or not, it's unmarked, I don't know. And of course there's not a single place you can turn around, so we're going to have to back all the way down the road. This has been a success. Failure. Yeah, that little driveway right there, that's the entrance. Whoops. And, okay. They need a sign out front of their business or something like, this is where you want to go when you're selling this crud. Okay, the sawmill is the steep ramp. Okay. So let's go ahead and sell this, and then we'll be done. So that should have given you guys a nice long episode. Plus 40 minutes. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Let's see how much money we made, and then we're calling it a night. Here we go. And John's going to get on this computer. Uh, let me sell this stuff. Oops, it's not letting me sell. So don't act like she's still streaming. I'm going to That's help. annoying. I can't sell the... What? Have a Don't act like dad's still streaming because I'm going to... Okay. Maybe it's that pile over here. I thought that was manure, but maybe this is it. That's actually a wood chip pile, so it would make sense that this is where we're going to dump it. Yep, it doesn't give you any sugar though, that's odd. But there you go, it's dumping. So let's see how much money we make from our load. <laughs> Not much. It's pretty low. About 2500 for the trailer load. So about 3000 a trailer, maybe a little bit less. 2700 for a full trailer. Uh, so we didn't even make that tree. Did not, But that's only one and a half trees. So we're going to have... Maybe about $15,000 or more. That's not horrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you on the next exciting episode of Maypole Farm. Good night.